Okay, so this is my Splunk web. And let's log in. Oops, it says login field. Let, let me try again. Nothing. Looks like I forgot my password. Now what to do? How to reset it? So I'm going to uh, walk you through on the process of resetting the password in the latest series of Splunks now. Earlier, the process was a bit different. But now, uh, the, the things have been moved, moved around. So let's see what to do. So what you need to do? You need to log into backend of this uh, Splunk machine. So this one is running on AWS Cloud. I'll just do the SSH, or you can do through SSH session manager as well. So I've logged in. You need to go to your Splunk installation directory. You see, and here you will see there is a file called passwd. So earlier the process was a bit different. You just had to rename this file and restart the Splunk, which which used to give you an option to reset your password when you were going back to your Splunk web, right? But now things are a bit different. So what you need to do, you need to go to ETC system local first. ETC system local, and here you will have to create a user seed in profile actually. So just create this new file. Okay. And you need to put user in first engine there. You will do that password. Okay, let's keep it password only. And you save it. Fine. So now, once this is done, you just need to go back to ATC and rename this file to some other file. And password will do maybe backup file or anything. Anything is fine. So now when you restart your risk plan, what it will do now, it will create a new passwd file here, accommodating the user info what you have created through system local. So let's see if it works out. So once this restart is done, we should be able to log into our admin account using the password, password because that's what we have kept there, right, inside system local. Okay, so let's wait for a few more seconds. It should be up. Okay, okay. So now if you see here, we got new passwd file, right? If you remember the earlier one, we renamed it to the backup one. The restarting this one, we got the new one, right? So now if you go back to your Splunk, if you log, try to log in with the password, password simply. That's what we get there. And it works like a charm. You are able to get into your Splunk, right? So that's what I wanted to show you quickly how it works. Fine, thanks.